Welcome to STEM with the Houston Public Library. I'm Lauren, and today we are making fizzy paintings. This activity is intended for ages five and up. For this activity, you will need the following supplies. Baking soda, vinegar, food coloring, pipettes or straws, cardstock, or if you don't have cardstock, you can use other types of paper, but you will receive a different finished look since the way the paper was made affects how the color dries on the page. A spoon, a paint tray, or small cups, and a large plate or tray. Start by preparing your paint. Pour a small amount of vinegar into each section of the paint tray that you will be using. Put one drop of food coloring in the vinegar. Use your pipette or straw to stir the vinegar and color, making it all diluted. Place your cardstock paper in the middle of your tray or plate. Cut the paper smaller if it needs to be, if it is larger than the tray. Take a small spoonful of baking soda. And spread it around your paper. Try to get it evenly spread out with a thin layer covering the majority of the paper. Now we will put the vinegar colors onto our baking soda covered paper. What do you think might happen when they touch? Carefully use your pipette or straw to pick up some of the vinegar solution and drop it onto the page. Watch as the colors bubble up and expand as the vinegar and baking soda touch. What happens when you make big bulk put a lot on one section? Or just a little? This chemical reaction is what you get when these materials mix. Baking soda and vinegar react chemically because one is a base and the other is an acid. Baking soda is a basic compound called sodium bicarbonate. Vinegar is a diluted solution that contains acidic acid. The baking soda and vinegar reaction is actually two separate reactions. The first reaction is the acid-base reaction. When vinegar and baking soda are first mixed together, hydrogen ions in the vinegar react with the sodium and bicarbonate ions in the baking soda. The result of this initial reaction 
is two new chemicals, carbonic acid and sodium acetate. The second reaction, which we see here, is a decomposition reaction. The carbonic acid formed as a result of the first reaction immediately begins to decompose into water and carbon dioxide gas. Just like the carbon dioxide bubbles in a carbonated drink, um, the carbon dioxide rises to the top of the mixture. This creates the bubbles and foam you see when mixing baking soda and vinegar. When you're finished coloring your page, set it aside and let it dry overnight. Tomorrow, you will need to dust off the dried baking soda that was left from the reaction. to reveal your creation below. Thank you for joining STEM at the Houston Public Library. Make sure to show photos of your activity online and tag us using hashtag I love HPL. See you next time.